welcome to our usual hobbies. I'm Economica, and today I can play with the game Dungeon Me, which is from the same creators of Absurd and Fear Me the Silent. But I do believe it's time for us to take a small adventure into a dark cavern and encounter some eldritch horrors. One thousand years have passed since the plague of the split. Man has devolved into their ancient and superstitious ways, a time when names hold power. Mysticism has become rampant. The horrors of the plague left creatures and strange abominations falling through the land. Who will you be during these sad and perilous days? You are nothing but a thief without luck, seeking riches and trying to find your place in the world. Maybe today will be your lucky day. You found some ancient ruins. They could possibly be filled with wonders and treasures. They could change your entire life. Will you venture into the darkness of the dungeon? Oh, you know what? I don't even need to look around or think about it. I know for a fact that's where the Aldrich Horrors are, so we just need to go straight in, right? You can't enter here yet. Wait, what? You're going to tease me like this? You are missing something. Well, I'm not missing a death wish, so that can't be it. I mean, let's face it, as much as I want to see the average horrors, they are most likely going to eat me. <laughs> okay, how about we give this a good hard think about it? You can see an entrance. It should be pretty easy to get in. Maybe too easy. Did you booby trap the entrance? Oh, maybe you're just trying to save my life by not letting me go in. How about we just have a look about then? Some say that the jungle is a metaphor for an untamed land. You think the jungle is a place where only the prepared survive. You wonder if there are any clues around here. Oh, I think I found something. What is this? Can I click it? I mean, I can't read the right answer, but um, I'm pretty sure it's just saying click me. Should I figure out the meaning? I mean, can I figure out the meaning? If I just give it a good hard to think about. You can see- nope, it's just telling me about the entrance again. I can see the entrance, I want to know about the writing. Nope, it's just saying the jungle's a metaphor again. What? Nah, wait, don't, don't close my door again, I only just opened it. Okay, well I've clicked the button twice now and I'm still alive, so I feel like we should just go in. You have entered the dungeon. It's hard to see in front of you. You hear dripping coming from the ceiling, and the floor feels slimy. There are strange sounds of something squirming near the walls. It's hard to make out what is ahead of you. The echoes tell you the path is deep. What do you do? Well, at first I stand here feeling like a fool, so I did not bring a torch with me. And yeah, I don't mean like flashlight torch, I mean like stick with fire, that kind of torch. I'm aware there's probably no flashlights in this era of game. Let's give it a hard think about what we've done and how we would greatly appreciate fire right now. You wonder why people made places like this. Going through all the trouble to make traps and labyrinths. They really were overdoing it. You know, I'd do it. I feel like if I had enough money and time on my hands and nothing else to do. Sure, I'd build some like elaborate maze trap, booby trap thing. Just for the hell of it. Just so people like a hundred years in time can wonder why the hell it was made in the first place. Because I was bored and I could. Okay, have a look around. The stones in this place look ancient. There is moss and strange liquid coming down from the walls. You can't see further than your hand. But wait! There's a small hole. Should I check what's inside? Yep, do it. I mean... Worst case scenario, we lose our hand and it gets eaten by an eldritch horror. Or, the walls are actually sentient and they consume our hand. Let's risk it. You have found a bag. I wonder what's inside. Wait, torch! That is exactly what I need, though I kind of want salt. I don't know why. You take out your torch and should you light it? Yeah, we should light it. I mean, I greatly want to see. And I'm just going to pray to God these walls aren't flammable. But wait, we had a torch this entire time? And you let me sit here complaining that we didn't have a torch? I feel like a fool. The entire vicinity is illuminated. 
Something is squirming and coming closer to you. Ah, I did just make myself visible. Leave the torch lit. I want to see my death as I greet it. You decide to continue through the tre treacherous darkness. As you take the first fateful steps, you feel the air change as two divergent paths appear before you. You notice some figures painted on both paths. It's hard to make out what they are. The one on the left shows a small man holding a blue diamond. The one on the right shows a small woman holding a ruby. Where do you decide to go? Hmm. Well, sadly, neither of them are green. So I think blue is my second favorite color. No, wait, red. Red for blood. Let's go for the right. You decide to head down the path on the left. As you enter the room, a door shuts down behind you. Your eyes close instinctively due to the noise. Once you open your eyes, you are surprised to see. Oh, treasure! I picked wisely. A beautifully ornate room, filled with riches beyond your dreams. Wait, I just realized I didn't pick wisely. We all know that I came into this game wanting the Aldrich Hubbers. Oh, goddammit, I only got treasure. Even the doors and the floor were made out of gold. You could see all kinds of beautiful plants. It almost reminded you of a paradise. You wonder who could take care of such a place. There has not been a living soul around this abandoned ruins in centuries. What should you do now? Hmm. Think very hard. This may be boob trap, so if we take anything, we might die. It's not normal for a place like this to be in such good conditions. Should you be alert? Look around. Your face gets a bit pale. You don't know why, but your body is starting to feel a bit strange. Your head is feeling light. Oh, why do we think about it some more? This place terrifies you. It gives you a bad feeling. Your mind wanders and images ghosts and strange beings. You remember the stories your parents told you about the spiritual beings. Things that could hardly be explained got spilled into our world. Things that we have no power over. Things that are higher than us. If I keep thinking about it, will I eventually die? Nah, it's, gonna t it's just telling me it scares me some more. Okay, well, you know what it's time for. It's time to act. You are tired of waiting. It's time to act. This wars will not stop you from living. Am I trying to bash down the gold doors? They seem rather sturdy. You pick up your sword and try to break through one of the doors. Hitting it, time after time, slash after slash. The metallic clang of your sword slowly fading into white noise of the room. Your strength slowly giving in as you fall on your knees. A deep sleep comes over you. Sometimes, we waste our entire life trying to gain riches. Maybe not in the way you want it. Your body slowly begins to change in shape, and it becomes the very treasure you desired so much. Ending, you are the treasure. God damn it, I wanted to become an Aldrich Horror! Does that mean someone else is going to find me and try and steal me? You seek treasure, and the treasures found you. Such as life in Dungeon Me. Oh, interesting. So apparently this time, I'm just a poor adventurer. I'm not even a thief this time. But we also can't go in. You can't enter here yet. You are missing something. Oh, so my encounters change. What do we look around here then? The jungle is full of dangers. I have to be careful of the mimic birds. Some of them are able to imitate human speech and trick us into doing heinous things. I told you the birds are evil. You see a family of monkeys jumping in the dense jungle. One of them is trying out a strange fruit. Oh gosh, what is happening to him? His face is melting. It's too much. I can't watch anymore. Wait, no, look back. I've never seen a monkey's face melt before. Only a human face. Hmm. 
Okay, there's gotta be something I can find to be able to get inside, right? You can see an entrance. It should be pretty easy to get in. Maybe too easy. Some say that the jungle is a metaphor for untamed land. You think the jungle is a place where only the paired survive. You wonder if there are any clues around here. Oh, there it is! What is this? This is our entrance. Should I figure out the meaning? I mean, I still don't know if I can. I've not seen anything that allows me to, unless I just think about it really hard for a long time. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I found a switch in a coat. Come on, keep thinking. Maybe we'll find some translation. Nah, I think there's only two options. So I don't think there's actually any... I can't find anything that'll allow me to translate it. No, it's just talking about the monkeys again. I'm sure it's a very nice message regardless. Let's go in. I wouldn't be changed anything if I just don't put my hand in the wall. Scaredy cat. You decide it's better not to stick your hand in weird places. It's still very dark and humid. You place your hand on the wall and use it as a guide. Slowly reaching a room. Oh, it did change. So I don't know if that's because I'm the adventurer or because I didn't put my hand in there. But I didn't get the divergent path option. This place reeks of death. With the little light you have, you are able to see a well filled with a soup of flesh and bone. I dare you to taste it. Then, a startling noise calls your attention in the distance of the tunnels. Oh, boy! It's probably a good idea I didn't taste the soup. I reckon they'd be mighty mad at me. Well, who do we have here? What a sweet surprise. A visitor. It has been centuries since someone came to visit. You stand quietly. Staring at the strange creature. Should you even speak to it? It doesn't seem to be able to move. What now? Has the cat got your tongue? Talk with me, stranger. You know what? You seem like a Charlie Ming fellow. Why do I get the feeling you're going to talk me into jumping into the uh, soup, right? What a pleasure to be able to speak with someone after so long. You are the first to even consider listening to me. It has been very lonely since you came all the way here. Why don't I reward you with something? I will tell you my name. My name is Bazu. Your face is filled with terror as you hear a forbidden name. Since you were a mere child, you were taught to never say the names of the fallen ones. You were told their names hold power. As you stared into the eye forming inside Bazu's mouth, your body began to twitch. Your eyes began to sink into their sockets. Your skin melted from your bones, like dripping plaster, plopping into the ground. Shame. Shame that you only could reach this far. Secret riches and glory have eluded you, but such is life in Dungeon Me, ending Bazu out of existence. You know what? If we're gonna melt simply by hearing his name, I feel like we should just say it. I mean, we're dead regardless, and I kind of want to see what happens when we announce his name. Sometimes we should listen when they tell us not to talk to strangers. Well, I have been told about Stranger Danger again. So let's not speak to him. Oh, we just leave. Do we reckon this is going to be our blue path then? The room has an aroma of perfume. The room also has a soft breeze and a pleasant atmosphere. So yeah, I'm curious if this is where it leads us if when we get to the fork in the path and we go right instead. You hear some steps coming at you from the tunnel ahead. What could it be? Wait, think about it. Thoughts began to flood your head. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Your thoughts are slowly becoming blue. Something about this place is having an effect on you. You wonder what is causing this. You can't even describe the feeling. You never in your wildest dreams imagined you would have blue thoughts. 
Is this dangerous? You think to yourself. You look at your hands and only see blue. It bothers you a little. But you only make peace with it. You start to realize there are things going on that are out of your control. Who can it be that is doing this? Due to time constraints, this section of the game is still in the works. Ah, so I should just live my blue life for a little bit longer. So, fun fact. Apparently, Torch is the only acceptable option we can pick, even if I try to pick my salt. I just get told that salt is a precious mineral used to give flavor to food. And I'm not allowed to take the salt. Even though I feel like salt would be very helpful, because I could take it to Vazu's room and then bribe him not to mount me by salting his soup. He'd appreciate it, right? I'm giving him flavor. It's a pebble. It's round and pretty. Nothing remarkable about it. Or we can have bread. It's just a piece of moldy bread. You are feeling hungry. Not hungry enough to eat the moldy bread. I'd go for the flesh soup. Okay, but I'm not gonna light it this time. You prefer to stay in the dark. You can't be too careful. Having a torch could actually attract something undesirable. You decide to continue through the treacherous darkness. As you take the first fateful steps, you feel the air change as two divergent paths appear before you. You notice some figures painted on both paths. It's hard to make out what they are. The one on the left shows a small man holding a blue diamond, and the one on the right shows a small woman holding a ruby. So yeah, I reckon if we go down the blue path, it's just going to take us back to the blue route, right? It does. And I will live the rest of my life surrounded by blue. I really hope that the blue path ends with us becoming an Aldrich Horror. I mean, it feels like it's already manipulated my brain, right? I'm already having blue thoughts. If you enjoyed that playthrough, I'd greatly appreciate you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, it was a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.